last time you got ranked, you went up to the East Coast, you ground out a win against Rutgers, you stumbled against Temple. Is there a different feel or a different approach this time to handling the success of being ranked? Um, it is, you know, uh, I mean, we got another another um, trap game, as we call it, against UCF, and uh, that's the same thing we had against Temple. You know, we went in not going hard, not playing aggressive like we usually do, so it's just uh, it put, puts more emphasis on it for the tournament. You know, if you're uh, top 25, you have a kind of a good chance for the tournament, so and, uh, that's our ultimate goal, to get to the tournament and get far in that, so we just want to really play for the tournament right now. Nobody likes to lose, coaches, players, but when you look back at the loss against Temple, was that a valuable learning experience in oh, terms yeah. of how to handle this kind of thing? Definitely, all our, all our losses were uh, valuable. You know, um, Temple more because I mean, not to not to knock anything from them, but it's just yeah, a game we, everybody felt like we shouldn't have lost. You know, um, and saying that, I mean, we got another one coming up, and just all our games ahead, we we're going to take more serious. Saturday, obviously, is at home as opposed to your trip to Temple and Rutgers, but. How is the team approaching this differently? Do you guys talk about that trip as you're getting your focus ready for Definitely. Saturday? I mean, every time, every time you turn on the TV and see a see a, a team from my conference playing, especially Temple, we just think back on the game and know what we got to do next time and not make the same mistakes. The first time you played UCF, you got a 12-point win down in Orlando, um, and you held them to 31% shooting. Mm -hmm. What's the key to defending UCF? Um, Sykes and keep their shooters under control, pretty much. They only had one guy uh, who got in double figures against you last time. Uh, Tristan Spurlock had 11 points. Everybody else was under 10. Sykes, you held to five. Is Sykes your number one priority, or are they? is it sort of uh, a two-headed monster there? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's our number one priority right now. I mean, uh, he got hurt the first half in the uh, last game, but... You know, uh, I guess he's the best player on the team. And Spurlock, he uh, he hit a couple open shots, so you know, our defense we're going to be more more ground on him. For people who haven't seen Sykes, what does he do well? What makes him so effective? Um, everything. I mean, he's just an all-around player. He rebounds. He can score. I mean, he gets his teammates involved. Everything. He's just a, he's a pretty good player. You you mentioned the Temple game and, and the UCF game could be looked at as sort of a trap game. How much do you guys talk about, or how much do your older teammates talk to the younger guys about not looking ahead to Louisville and Memphis? Oh, every time, you know, every time we say, oh, we got to beat Louisville, we got to go get Memphis, they say we got to take one game at a time, starting with UCF. Okay, your scouting report, what's the biggest key to getting the win on Saturday? Play hard. I mean, that's the biggest thing, just go out there and play hard, play aggressive, you know, and if we do that, wins or losses really don't matter as long as we know that we, could, that we play hard enough. Great. Talk about what it's like playing um, top 25 this time. Last time you guys went on the road and had to play. This time actually being in front of your home crowd. Talk about what it's going to be like to play in front of them. Top 25 with a week to rest. Um, I mean, it, it feels, it's going to feel good. You know, it's the first time playing top 25 at home in a few years for uh, SMU. So it's going to feel good for, for the city and for everybody on the team, really.